Hey everybody, Deborah from Very Best Little Hair House here. And today I wanted to actually take a wig. This is John Renault, Julianne Light, um, and unbox it for you from start to finish. And I have not ever taken this wig out of the box, and I'm about to do that for the first time. The reason I thought I'd do a video about this is because now that I have a shop and I will hand women wigs to try on that have not been out of the box, and when they do and you put it on, it just kind of goes everywhere and it's all over the place. And it can be overwhelming unless you know that that's what to expect. So let's take a look. I chose this wig for another reason. Well, not only is it a great wig, and as far as the light versions of the John Renault styles, I'm really anxious to see one of them because I prefer low density. And if you don't know what density is, it's basically the amount of hair or the distribution of hair throughout the wig. Um, and the terms density used to go to along to reflect a certain percentage like a hundred percent density a hundred and fifty percent density but nowadays they don't use the percentage so much at least not the major manufacturers but each brand has its own kind of trademark density some are more thick than others is another way that you can look at it or have more hair um, Ellen Villa and Belle Madame and any of the European based brands are always going to have lower density. So they don't have a light version of a wig because they're already, you know, produced less dense. So when John Renault came out with this, I was anxious to see it because as a low density type preferring person, um, it's sometimes difficult to get a beachy wave or a curly wig and not have it be. And when it has a lot of hair, it can be overwhelming, even if you're a normal size. But when I'm helping petite women, the petite challenge alone sometimes make it so that a straighter wig is better than curly for what it's worth. But anyway, so let's get to this. When, it com when, the, bo when the wig comes to you, it will be bobby pinned down and have a net on it. And often it will have a pack of jelly, the silica gel. And I always throw those away because I'm always worried that my puppy will get them, but you could leave it in the box and it won't hurt it. But anyway, here, this is out of the box. Gorgeous curl pattern. This one, I'm also a big fan of the hand tied wigs. If you have not had a hand tied wig, I am going to do my best to encourage you to try it because this is a feature that I myself wouldn't try for a while because I, I was like, oh, how much more comfortable can it be? Well, I don't know if it's worth all that. But once I got one and I allowed myself to get a really nice wig because I had um, the magazine article to look forward to. So, I mean, I'm, I'm on a budget conscious type thing myself. So a hand tied wig, at first I couldn't understand if the expense would be worth it, but in my experience, trust me. Difference the, that it feels on your head, the movement is extremely natural. How can it not be? When every hair is attached by hand, it's gonna move like real hair moves. So, you know, I just can't say enough about them. Um, and maybe try one and see. But on the light version of the wigs, they have, they have like a poly um, backing. And what that does is help make it lay flat on your skin. Some people like it, some people don't. I find it helpful. Um, another thing sometimes that I will do if I can't get my lace to lay flat perfectly, and some of the wigs coming out now have the extended lace front and what that is meant to do is when you do this, you're going to have that lace front feature the whole way down. That is a nice feature. If you are sensitive to lace, that might be an issue for you. I have mixed thoughts about needing an extended lace front because I've been able to wear lace front wigs 
even classic cap wigs, I've been able to work it so that if I pull it back, it looks kind of natural. So I'm, you know, that's a feature. If it's going to make you feel confident, go ahead and look for that feature. I know uh, Bell Tress has some extended lace fronts coming out, I think by June this year. So anyway, that's a feature. We'll probably do a video about that when it comes to that and we'll check it out firsthand and see what you can and can't do. But anyway, back to this, and I am looking forward to trying it on. Yeah, I still get excited about wigs. Um, I've had the shop now four years when I know a shipment is coming. It, there'll even be wigs for other people, and I'm just like excited about it. I can't wait to see wigs on people. So if that sounds like an experience that might be fun for you, give me a call. We're getting people that come from even farther and farther away. They drive out here because we certainly are going to do our best to make the trip worth it. Um, not only do I love wigs myself, and I have since I was little, um, I can make you, I can find that one for you that might put you a little bit closer to the wig frenzy level of happiness that I am. I know I can at least start you on your journey. But anyway, back to this. Um, this is the Palm Springs Blonde. It's a, it, I guess you could say, one of the trademark John Renault colors. Um, every brand of wig has different colors. They all may have similar colors, but every brand has their own specific colors, and they do that on purpose to, you know, maintain customers. Because you know, when this, if this works for you and this is perfect then you know you can rely on the fact that this color, if you're ordering one that you haven't tried on, at least you're pretty reasonably sure the color will work. But anyway, so when I take my wig off, and I try to do videos from like a very basic, um, probably a lot of people, if you're watching this video and you're already familiar with videos, you're probably at a knowledge where I don't have to show you how I tape my wig or um, take it on and off, but. I'll try and explain that as well. So I usually take my wig off at the back by hooking my finger under the base and peeling it down in the front. And as you can see, I have a piece of wig tape, put it right on my lace front. I've never done any damage personally with that. I know some people are worried about it, but I like my lace to lay absolutely flat and I find a double-sided piece of tape is enough to do that really well. Can put it on, I'll slide my fingers under there and readjust it if I have to, and then that holds all day. And by no means do I need it to keep my wig on from flying off, but I do find that that extra assurance, I, I just kind of like it. And at home, I hang my wigs on command hooks. So, you know, if you hang your wig upside down like that, especially if I'm, you're just going to be putting it back on in the morning like me, I've found that system works. Okay, when I'm putting a wig on, every wig will have ear tabs. I kind of use those, and everybody might do this different. This is my system. So when I put it on, I will adjust my ear tabs and make sure that they're straight. Sometimes, you know, you'll have it not exactly centered right, although you'll get to learn you will have it on and in the right place in no time. But anyway, um, I generally brace my lace front and I kind of hold it where I might want it or at least the vicinity and then I just pull it straight on back. And if you wear earrings, you might want to take those out if you're trying a lot of wigs on and off, but hopefully you're at home and uh, this won't be an issue. But anyway, so. Okay, now to the ear tabs. Okay. Overall, the fit is pretty good. It looks pretty good right out of the box, I have to say. Um, and as far as color changes, you just got to get brave and do it. I, I had a completely different color wig on. I'm at the point now where I change all the time. And it's really, even when I do it, the first time I look at myself in a different color, I am like, uh-oh, that doesn't look right. But as I tell everybody in the chair, give yourself a few minutes. But, and let me look in the mirror and see what I can. 
then when I comb wigs you generally if they're curly finger combing is best but if you have to a wide tooth comb is something that I keep in my pocket and generally have the these are the only combs I use on wigs Again, everybody has, does something different, but I know I have been safe with one shape like this. Yeah, I really thought I was going to have to do a lot more work to make this look manageable, but I'm in, I got to say I'm impressed right out of the box and putting it on. And oh yeah, the lace front impeccable i mean it does look like sometimes i like to check that i'll have my husband check it as well <laughs> and he's course certified now too um he's almost as good as wigs as me but since i wear them i have a little bit more experience but if you come to our shop he will chip in his opinion and his fitting ability as well so anyway um yeah I wouldn't even do much to this maybe a clip or maybe not I the clip is an extra little thing I do just because when I'm kind of animated when I talk so I like to keep it out of my eye but adding clips that's something we encourage you to do here we have a little dresser set up for you to you know work imagine what you would be doing at home with the wig but anyway so this was Julianne light in Palm Springs Blonde from John Renault. Highly recommend it. I'm a pretty straight up average fit, and this does fit nice and snug. Again, it's hand tied, it's gonna have some give. Um, so try one out for yourself, and if you are gonna be in the area and you'd like to arrange a consultation, call, text, or email. Until next time, thanks.